Welcome or welcome back to the session. We're looking at the Fantastic Four Retro Card Psycho Man action figure. Now, if you have seen the previous videos of my reviews, then you'll know that we have finished the Fantastic Four. We've gone through uh, Mr. Fantastic, Sue Storm, Johnny Storm, Ben Grimm, all of them. So now it's time to move on to the other characters of that line that have been released. And Psycho Man was one of the most requested figures you wanted me to look at, so thank you for all your votes. But before we get into it, be sure to like and subscribe for more Marvel Legends content. And with that being said, let's get straight into the review. So taking a quick look at the box, uh, as you can see, it's got Psycho Man right there, and it looks pretty good. Actually, sometimes I like the way that they actually design it more on the box than the actual figure. Then we've got the rest of the line with a little blurb about Psycho Man, in case you didn't know much about him. And I must say that this box is my favorite design out of the whole retro card series I've been doing. Moving on to the accessories now, and this is it. This is the only accessory that we get with this figure. And I do understand that his Psycho Ray is his, like, main accessory. However, additional hands or even just an additional head sculpt would have been really nice to add. It would have just given that, that something else that we, it probably needs. Because in a way, it is a little boring. I mean, at least they did, did, uh, they did pr do it pretty well. I mean, it looks great. The paint job's been done pretty well. And to be honest, I really do like the sculpt. I like all the lines and all the details it has to really show that it's just not like a sort of blank piece of plastic. And with that being said, I'm going to give the accessories a solid 8 out of 10. Additional hands or even just an additional head sculpt would have easily made this 10 out of 10. Moving on to the aesthetic of the figure now, I really do like the way it looks for the most part. Um, I think the white plastic sometimes looks a bit cheap. I think that they could have just done a bit better, maybe just add some lines, painted some lines, sorry, to just give that extra depth that it really does need. However, the molded green plastic, as you can see all over his legs, looks fantastic. I love the way they did that. I also really like that emerald green that they gave him. I think it stands out pretty well. Even the gold on his face does look nice, and I sort of like the way that the eyes are outlined there. So it's a little unfortunate that there's not that much paint on this figure, but what you can see on the chest where there is paint, it's done pretty well. I mean, for the most part, it's in line. It looks great. And even the paint going around his hips does look pretty good. However, from some sides, it does look a bit messy. His arms look great. I love the sculpt on them. However, I think there's a missed opportunity with making them just stand out more with using some paint. The head sculpt looks great. I love the little green part of his head and then the black lines going down looks pretty good. And I really like the gold too. I think it contrasts really well with the emerald green. So overall, I'm very happy with the look of this figure, and I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10. I think for the most part, it's great. I think the white could have just had some bit more pain just to give it that extra depth that it really needed. However, they still did a really good job. Moving on to the articulation of the figure. Now, the head actually is more just a neck joint. So uh, looking up, it doesn't get that much range as well as looking down. However, I still like the way that it sort of looks with it. However, it can easily look side to side, and it looks pretty good while doing it. I do think the choice of a neck joint really fits this figure, and it's probably just the best choice available for this one. And for the most part, I am happy with the articulation for that neck. It has a 360 rotation for the arms, a higher than horizontal range when it goes up. Not only that, but it has pinless, double-jointed elbows, as well as a standard swivel and a hinge for the ankle. Now moving to the ab area of the figure, um, it doesn't really have much range, I'm really disappointed. It barely goes forward at all and barely goes back. So for any figure, that's just really disappointing. Uh, at least that it does twist side to side and you can get some range with that, so that's pretty good. It mostly just clicks into place. Uh, double jointed pinless knees, which is nice. Doesn't really go up due to the little, you know, molded part there of his costume. He gets pretty close to doing the splits, which is not bad. Sometimes it is a bit difficult to move some of the joints. Sometimes they're just a bit too tight. However, that's sort of normal with the pinless ones. It has a standard ankle articulation as well, which is all very welcomed. I think they actually did a pretty good job with the articulation for this figure. I mean, you don't really only get Psycho Man in much dynamic poses, so they did pretty good for what's needed. And so I'm going to give the articulation of this figure a solid 8 out of 10. Too much, I think it's just the range of bending forward and back is just, that just really kills it for me considering you can barely move. However, besides that, I am very, very happy with the articulation of this one. But that is it for today. If you have enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe because he, any support means so much. And I really did like this figure. I think it's pretty good, especially for the price tag. I don't know about you, but here, my, the retail price of this one is very cheap. So that's, it's definitely worth it for the price. I think they could have done a little bit better with the accessories and just maybe just added a bit more paint just to the overall sculpt of the body. It just would have went a long way for this one. But even besides that, I love the aesthetic of this figure. I love the articulation. I even love that one accessory. So there's just lots to like about this one. And with that being said, I'm going to give it a Fonzie rating of... Hey! Whoa. And I'm going to give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. But thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.